Hi, my name is Devin Workman from Scrub, a division of HHB Communications. In this video, we are taking a look at the new Avid S6 control surface. I am now going to show you some of the functions of the Master Touch module and the Master Automation module. These two modules combined give you deep integrated control of your audio workstation from the listening position. The Avid S6 Master Touch module, or MTM, comes in two different flavors, the M10 and the M40. The model of the MTM determines the size and type of modules you can attach to your S6 surface, but they work identically in function. We are looking at an M40 MTM. This includes the touchscreen, a selection of soft keys below, the monitoring section, and other global functions. Currently, we are looking at the tracks view on the MTM. Tracks can be broken down by color to give you an entire session view that can be easily scrolled. When I press play, you can see metering within the tracks page. I can also use this view to mute tracks or solo tracks, as well as select, input, or record arm. I can either select one track or hold and swipe to select several tracks. I can also use this view to swipe and only view audio tracks, auxiliary tracks, VCAs, and master faders. Let's look at some of the functionality of the MTM when in attention view. I should point out that the MTM can be adjusted in height for your specific viewing angle. When in attention view, just below the meter bridge, we have the tiles. The tiles allow us access to all of the functions of the selected track. Right now we have our VO track attentioned. We can view inserts, or we can spill out all of the parameters for the inserts on the attention track. We can view just dynamics, and I can adjust the dynamic transfer curve. We also have a view of the EQ curve, or we can select to view the sends. If I would like to look at another track, I can use the scroller at the bottom to select a track and bring it into view. We can select to have certain parameters spilling only to one side of the master touch module or the other, allowing me quick access to various track parameters. Another way to attention tracks is by selecting a track from the meter bridge along the top. The MTM is a multi-point touchscreen, which is great when I need to control multi-channel surround panning or use it to access other gestures. The master automation module, or MAM, includes a dedicated transport section, a multi-function wheel that can be used for jog, or zooming, as well as the attention fader. The attention fader can be called from the surface or from the MTM. Dedicated soft keys appear on the MAM and on the master touch module. Between the MAM and the MTM, there are 60 user programmable soft keys. These can be broken down into multiple pages, giving you access to virtually an unlimited amount of functions within the application. Like the rest of the surface, soft keys are application aware. When I tab over to another application, the soft keys update, allowing me access to functions particular to that app. Monitoring is controlled from the touch screen of the MTM. This is currently focused to the Xmon application over Yukon. From here, I can use this to mute or enable sources. I can control my Q sends from the knobs on the left hand side. I can mute and solo channels along the bottom and I can adjust my control room level and talkback level using the knobs on the right hand side. There is also the dedicated monitoring section, which is always available from the MTM via the knobs and keys on the surface. Dedicated keys from the monitoring section include speaker selection, level control, dim, and cut, or monitoring cues, and talkback. In our next video, we will look at how the soft keys give you control of menus, editing, and automation functions of your audio workstation. To arrange your S6 demo, please contact HHB or Scrub.